Okay, so I wanted to test the Lupo Super Panel out in a real life scenario where you're doing an interview and you have a window in the background that way. Um, so what I did, I, so I have, I have the, the, the Lupo on 100% um, percent, but I have it through a 216 frame because I wanted to soften it up and make it less harsh. This light puts out an amazing amount of light and at 100%, I'll show you in a second, it's just, it, it can just be blinding to your talent. But uh, it's great to have that range. So if you need it, depending on, on where you're at, you have the punch, or if you don't want to go direct on your, on your um, talent, you want to bounce off the ceiling or something, you can go uh, that route too. Okay, so last time I was on a 216 frame of diffusion, and now I went to 251. So this is lighter diffusion. So now you can see the light should be a little bit harder and I, I stopped down a stop in the background. So my background, the window is popping a little bit more, but it does make me just slightly harder of a light source. Okay, so the last one was a 251 diffusion. Now we're on a, at an opal diffusion. So I stopped down another half stop. So here is the Lupo Superlight through opal diffusion. So here's the Lupa light at 100%, nothing in front of it. So no diffusion in front of it, just coming straight on me. As you can tell, it's really hard. Um, I stopped down another stop. The, the window now is looking great outside, um, but it is, it is a very hard light. But it's good to have the variety that you can get this pump if you need it. Obviously, I should have another light in our, my background now at this exposure because my background's going really dark. But all in all, the Lupo Superlight does give you a lot of variety, a lot of options that you can use. This whole time I've been at 100%, I can go all the way down to, I think, 5%. I'm not, not sure what the minimum is, but it goes way down. Okay, so here you can see my full setup that I was doing. So the Lupo uh, Super Panel is right back there. Here's where my different diffusions that I'm putting. Uh, here I have a little bounce car in the back. Um, and back there is actually another Lupo 1K Fresnel light that's giving me my, my uh, kind of kicker light. 